So when I used to live in Hawaii, it was very difficult to screen people there because most the uh, clients I had were pretty much just like first timers, like they'd never done done it before with uh, escort. So it's not like they would have any references or anything for me to check up on. And so a lot of the calls I would go on alcohol, which mean I would go to their house figuring that, well, if it's their own private residence, the chances of them being a cop is very, very slim. Most stings are done in hotels and it's only very, very rarely they'll, maybe they'll rent a house or they'll have access to a house or something. But I would say probably never ever apartments, um, but maybe houses every once in a while, maybe, I don't know. But I think this guy, he had to be a cop because, okay, so I got there and first of all, he didn't want to kiss me and okay, whatever. So some guys just aren't into that kind of thing. And then I asked him, cause I, it kind of made me nervous that he didn't really want to kiss me. So I said to him, do you mind showing me your place? So he goes, oh yeah, sure. And he kind of walks me around down the hallway and I said, what's in your bedroom? And he's like, oh, those doors are locked. And I'm like, well, I kind of like to know like, you know, make sure that everything's safe here and there's no one hiding in any of your closets or anything. And he says, well, I, I always keep the door locks if you don't mind. And then I got really scared because I just realized that there were quite a few cars, like just, you know, regular cars parked around his place. And it was kind of unusual. I, at first, I just thought, well, maybe he just has a few extra cars or something, you know, but it was more than just a few. So I got really scared because he didn't want to show me any of his locked doors. It was a three bedroom house. And then we went back to the room and I really wanted to leave, but I was just going to wait to see what was going to happen if he was going to, you know, try to do anything with me. And I noticed on each side of the bed, there were little, two little speakers, like as if they were like listening devices or something. I'd never seen anything like that in my life, two of them. And at that point, I'm like, this guy has, it has to be a setup. This has to, because he's not showing me any of, his, any of his rooms. He doesn't want to kiss me. He's got little speakers on each side of his bed. And yeah, it just made me extremely uncomfortable. So he, I said something like, can I get some water? And then as soon as he, he left the room to get the water, I got my shoes on. That's all. That's the only thing I took off were my shoes. And I put my shoes, they're like flip flops. I got my shoes back on and I just left right out the door. I didn't touch the money, which was sitting over on the dresser. I didn't say anything to him. I just walked straight out to my car. I was so scared they were going to just bust out. I was so afraid all these cops were just going to bust out and arrest me. Because usually there's like 10 or 20 of them and they usually they have guns. And I got really scared. I just was hoping they weren't going to do that. So I, I got in my car and I drove off. He never called me back. He never, you know, called me to say what happened. Nothing. I never heard back from him. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he was a cop. What do you think? Why, why wouldn't he show me his rooms? Why was he acting so weird? Why were there so many cars around? And the weirdest thing of all, I think the place was like an orphanage because there was like all these kids toys around and he said something about that it was his roommates, kids or some bullshit like that, but it looked kind of like an orphanage. I don't know. What do you think? Strange. Yep. Take care.